Hello, Mrs H here. This video will take you through the cell cycle, mitosis and meiosis with some practice questions at the end. Don't forget, for AQA, you need to know both of these processes for paper one and paper two. Eukaryotic cells reproduce by doubling their contents and then splitting into two daughter cells. We need this process to occur to be able to grow and repair damaged tissues. There are three main stages of the cycle that you need to know at GCSE. First stage is a stage called interphase and this is when the cell gets ready for division. The cell grows. Organelles such as mitochondria and ribosomes must be copied and the DNA is replicated. In the second stage, the mitosis, this is when the nucleus divides. And then the third stage is cytokinesis, which is when the cytoplasm and the cell surface membrane divide. When a cell is about to divide, the DNA becomes visible as chromosomes. And in humans, we have 23 pairs, one set of 23 from mum and the other 23 from dad. I am just gonna draw one pair to keep things really simple, but just imagine there are 23 pairs. This cell is called a parent cell and has a full set of chromosomes. We say that the cell is diploid and diploid just means full set of chromosomes. Just before mitosis occurs, the DNA is replicated. That means copied. So each chromosome is copied because a chromosome is a chunk of DNA, isn't it? The cell will contain two identical copies of all the chromosomes. When mitosis continues to happen, the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell and then each copy of the chromosome will be pulled apart and the nucleus will divide. Each nucleus has identical copies of each chromosome and then the cytoplasm splits to create two identical daughter cells. And the splitting of this cytoplasm is called cytokinesis. They each have a full set of chromosomes and are said to be diploid. So they are genetically identical to each other and the parent cell. Mitosis occurs in all cells of the body except for the making of the sex cells, sperm and egg which are also known as gametes. So meiosis occurs in the testes of a male and the ovaries of a female. In meiosis, when the cell is about to divide, the DNA becomes visible as chromosomes, just like it does in mitosis. This is called a parent cell. Again, it has a full set of chromosomes. We say the cell is diploid. And just before meiosis occurs, the DNA is replicated. So each chromosome is copied. The cell will contain two identical copies of all of the chromosomes. The next bit is different from mitosis. So here, the chromosomes pair up in the middle of the cell and something called crossing over occurs. And this crossing over enables genes from different chromosomes to be swapped. And you can see as the chromosomes are pulled apart in the first division, then bits of the chromosomes break off and swap over. Then you see as the cell divides again, you now have four genetically different daughter cells each with a half the amount of DNA as there was in the parent cell. So we would call these cells haploid. And let's have a go at some practice questions here. The two types of cell division are mitosis and meiosis. Complete the table below with a tick or a cross. Produces two daughter cells. Mitosis does, meiosis no. DNA replicates. Yes in mitosis and yes in meiosis. Produces gametes. No in mitosis and yes in meiosis. Daughter cells are genetically identical. Yes in mitosis, no in meiosis. Let's look at some 
pictures of these stages in real life because you might be shown photographs in your exam and be asked to describe what is happening. Three of these photographs are of plant cells and they've been stained to make it easier to see different parts of the cell. The chromosomes start to become visible and then they replicate so they are definitely visible then. So have a look here and here. The two show that the cell's chromosomes are getting ready for cell division. Then the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell, you can see here. The chromosomes get pulled apart and new nuclei will form. Here you can see the pulling apart of the chromosomes. It is really difficult to see a nuclear membrane. You can see cytokinesis is starting to happen in this photograph. The cytoplasm is splitting and each cell is beginning to form their own cell surface membrane. A human body cell contains 46 chromosomes. Complete the table to show the differences between mitosis and meiosis. Number of chromosomes in each cell at the end of the process. In mitosis, that's going to be 46. And the purpose of mitosis is for growth and the replacement of damaged tissue. The number of chromosomes at the end of meiosis will be half of that, won't it? It'll be haploid, so it'll be 23. And the purpose is to produce gametes, the sex cells. A mammal has 38 chromosomes in each of its body cells. How many chromosomes would each daughter cell have after one of these body cells has divided by mitosis? Well, as they will be genetically identical to the parent cell, they will have 38 chromosomes. Um, but if it's meiosis, because we are moving to half the genetic information, half the number of chromosomes, so half of 38 is 19. Human sperm are produced by cell division in the testes. Name the type of cell division used to produce sperm. That is meiosis. Describe how this type of cell division to produce sperm, okay, meiosis, is different from the cell division to produce normal body cells. So basically, this is asking for differences between meiosis and mitosis, and I think we could do that pretty easy. So let's have a look. Um, after meiosis, there are four genetically different daughter cells with half of the DNA or number of chromosomes of the parent cell. The daughter cells are haploid, but after mitosis, there are two genetically identical daughter cells with full sets of chromosomes. So they are diploid daughter cells. There is only one cell division in mitosis, so only one set of cytokinesis, but in meiosis there are two cell divisions. And let's look at this picture. A female has 46 chromosomes in her body cells, in her eggs, are found in the ovaries and they have half the number of chromosomes. The making of the egg cells is called meiosis and the making of the sperm cells is also meiosis. A fertilized egg will begin to divide into a ball of cells and then into an embryo. And this type of cell division, of course, is mitosis. And that was a quick summary of mitosis and meiosis. Thanks for watching. If you found it useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content and head over to biologybreakdown.co.uk for more resources.